I'm back. Welcome to the Tarantula Collective. My name is Richard, and it's been about six weeks since I uploaded a video, so I, I've really missed you guys. It's awesome to be back. And I can tell by some of the comments that you all have missed me as well. So thank you so much for sticking around and showing all that support. I had only planned on taking January off, but we all got COVID here and it just it just kind of screwed up all of December. So it was an extended vacation. But I am back now and we're gonna kick off 2022 with a tour of the Tarantula Collective. It was just a few weeks ago, I uploaded a picture on Instagram and Facebook right after I cleaned up and straightened the basement. And a lot of people were leaving comments about how huge the basement is. The reality is that was an optical illusion. I was using a wide angled lens, so it made it look a lot longer than it was. Really, it's only about 26 feet long and 13 feet wide. Still plenty of space. I got a lot of space here, I'm not complaining, but it's definitely not as large as it looked in that photo. I'm gonna keep this video fast. I'm just gonna kinda show you everything that's changed, give you some updates that you guys have been asking about, hopefully answer some questions. Then I'm gonna start working on some new videos. So I guess we'll just jump right into the tour. So we're gonna kick things off here at my desk. This is where I record all of the podcasts and do all the live streams, edit the videos, uh, just kind of in the corner of the room here. And right next to me is this shelf of tarantulas and tarantula crib enclosures. Starting off at the top, got all the jumping spiders, uh, some spiderlings, as well as all of my D-diamond tenesis. They're over here on the second shelf with some other spiders. Green bottle blues back there. Got some insulation behind just because that wall is exposed to the outside and gets kind of cold. There's uh, the Pamphibetus platyoma. Kind of hard to see it back there. And then this is uh, the M. Belfori communal that we got from uh, Josh's frogs. And one of them's hanging out there. They're doing well. I just saw four of the five of them out not too long ago. It's kind of nice having them right by my desk. I can always keep an eye on them. But they're doing well. Plants are struggling a little bit, but... Other than that, and down here we've got some of my desert scorpions. These are the Androctonus species. I kind of, they like it a little bit warmer. The heater just turned on, so it's only 70 in there right now. That's my, uh, what is this, a Sonoran or a desert centipede enclosure? And over here we got a shelf with a bunch of camera equipment, filing cabinet. Uh, down here is my dry cabinet. It's where I keep all the lenses, cameras, all that kind of fun stuff. And one thing I do is keep all of my arboreals on these top shelves here. And then on the bottom shelves, the lower shelves are all the terrestrials and fossorials. So over here, we've got the uh, Postlotheria vitata enclosure, uh, Lapropelma borneo black. There's a Heteropoda bowie. Postlotheria ornata enclosure. This uh, and here I've got a carabina versicolor. It was actually the one that was originally in the paludarium enclosure, but I was having issues with that background, so I had to take it apart. So for now, it's it's in this enclosure. And we've got another carabina versicolor, another postlotheria enclosure. This is my, um, uh, what are they? The Horde King Assassin Bugs Communal. And we got some more postlotherias, some carabina lete. Uh, there's a versicolor in there. I'm, yeah. And then down here we've got, these are all the fossorial enclosures. There's Syriopogapus, uh, Chilobrachis. Yeah, these are some Arizona bark scorpions. Purseweb spider. There's my uh, Linothel mega, the Colombian funnel web spider. Here's my large female Dolicotheli diamond tenesis. Apostletheria metallica, she's about to get rehoused. And Brachypelmas, we got a Hamori, Amelia. Another homori down here. This is the uh, pumpkin patch tarantula enclosure. And then some juveniles down here. These are little two and a half gallon aquariums. Uh, but we've got a uh, Agenunculata, Nondochromatis, P. Sazame, the Yucatan rust rump tarantula, and a Brachypelma albiceps. I've got a couple molts in there I'm gonna have to pull out. But they're doing pretty well. And over here, a C. darlingi. And of course, the Formictopus erratus is hanging out down here. And over here, we've got the uh, Gramistola pulchra. And then in this little enclosure, 
uh, are all of my spiderlings, velvet spiders, you know, all, anything that's really small and I want to keep a little bit warmer. And I got a few scorpions back there as well. I've got a whole video on how I build it and why. That just kind of gives you an idea of what's on those shelves. And then moving over here, this is, oh, uh, what is this? This is a little GBB uh, juvenile. And this is a bioactive enclosure for the Theraphosa blondie. And this is another bioactive enclosure for the Theraphosa apophysis. I've got a Monocentrophus balfouri back in here. Uh, down here is the Vingaroon, uh, Pamphibetus vespertinus, which you can barely see, but she's actually out and about. And then this is the new enclosure for my Brachypelma baby. And it's, of course, hiding. Now, this is the little set I built for filming the nature documentary style videos. Uh, I'm about ready to kind of redo it all for more of a South American tropical kind of look. So those videos will be coming soon. Over here, we've got a tailless whip scorpion enclosure. And then another Vicularia. That one's a uh, mature male. He's not going to last much longer. And we got Postlotheria's uh, Tappan uh, T. Vilus, the purple tree spider. That's what I'm trying to say. On the thymus, uh, Shiadeti, Heteroscota maculata, Postlotheria metallica. There's a Heteropoda David Bowie, another Postlotheria metallica, and a Salmopius erminia. Starting off over here, we got an H. Gigas. Uh, let's see, Chilabrachy species Electric Blue, a Haplopelma Schmitty, and these are all my Harpectera species. This is the Harpectera Dictator, H. Polkripes, H. Caffarina, another H. Polkripes. We've got another Chilabrachy's here. This is the Mozambique Gold Baboon Tarantula's enclosure. And then over here is the Haploclastus Deva Motha, uh, the, the Polychromatic Earth Tiger. Uh, I have two of them, so I got their enclosure side by side. Of course, they, they pooped on it. I cleaned all these like last week, and they're already pooping. This is the OBT enclosure, uh, Brachypelma erratum's enclosure, Gramistola pulchropes, and this is the Tillicotto Vogans. Now, she is the one that I bred. Unfortunately, she ended up eating the egg sac while I was out of town. I was going to pull it the next day, like when I got back. Um, so I was pretty bummed about that. And this is the... Alfana Pelma Calcodes. These are the white spotted assassin bug enclosure. And there's some bunch of babies in there. And then down here we've got the leopard geckos and the uh, milk snake, Pueblo milk snake enclosure. This shelf is kind of like my catch all. So I've got a uh, Caribbean blue scorpion up here. I've got that cobweb castle enclosure with the southern house spider. And then we just got a bunch of juveniles. Uh, there's a Brocky Pelma baby, a bicoloratum. Uh, Nandu Trepepi is over here. Uh, there's another Chilabrachy species, Electric Blue. There's a Mantis, <laughs> a Brachybelma homori, a bunch of different juvenile enclosures. We got the um, Desert Scorpion here, Desert Hairy Scorpion, Fonda Pelma bicoloratum. Got another purse web spider back there, and of course, uh, these are all the feeders. Pamphibia species and a Tarantula Cribs enclosure. Um, this is some ivory millipedes. I'm sorry, no, this is the, the Titan isopods. All right, on here, this is the ivory millipede enclosure. Uh, the Zenethesis amonis. I think I got those switched. That's the Zenethesis amonis. <laughs> that's the Pamphibetus. And uh, what is this? That's the Texas, no, nope, that's the Afana Pelmahensi down here. And that's another Pamphibetus. I got it labeled on the underside. And then all of these here are just isopod colonies. So I've Got a bunch of isopods there. Now this is new, you haven't seen this yet, but I'll give you a little sneak peek. This is a new king snake enclosure that I've been working on. Came from custom reptile habitats. And I'm uh, just kind of letting the plants settle in. I'll be moving the snake in soon, finishing up that video and posting it for you. And then right above it, we've got, I just got this in. It's a uh, Zen Habitats enclosure. I'll be putting my California king snake in there. I'm gonna make a video showing how I build the background and all that fun stuff with this enclosure as well. Now up here along the top of this shelf, I've got a lot of my terrestrial uh, juvenile New World tarantulas. And there's my Heteroscota maculata enclosures. Got two of those there. And then coming down, this is, you're probably familiar with, um, my Florida bark scorpion communal enclosure. I've got a Postlotheria rufliata hanging out in there, mature male, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with him. And then this is the NNC, the Neotheli NC uh, communal enclosure. I did a whole video on, got those from uh, Dr. Rayer. 
and they're doing really well. A lot of people have been asking about them. Try to give you a closer look here, but when you, you're looking at here, you can see there's just so many little web tunnels, like <laughs> just uh, little places where they're out here hiding, kind of hanging out, bunch of, bunch of different burrows. And last time I counted, I, there was 15 that I put in here. Um, I did a count, came down about three o'clock in the morning, not too long ago and was able to count 13 of them. Um, so I have a feeling they're all doing really well. I haven't seen any babies yet, which is kind of disappointing. I thought there'd be some babies by now, but you know, they're uh, they're not cannibalizing each other, which is, <laughs> that, that's the important part. They're doing well, the plants are doing well, and uh, they're eating. So yeah, so far so good on this communal enclosure. Talking about communals, we'll look at the uh, adult in Balfouri enclosure. They're still doing well, webbed up a lot in the back. Kind of hard to see with the lighting, but I don't have too much of a bright light on that. This is the Theraphosa Sturmy enclosure, and she's kind of hanging out back down in there. And we've got an Emperor Scorpion down here and another Theraphosa Blondie, another bioactive enclosure for that one. And then here we've got the misting system for the frogs and snakes and geckos. This is the uh, dart frog, poison dart frog enclosure. Did a whole video on that build. If you haven't seen it, highly suggest you check it out. They're very secretive. I was hoping to get some of them on film, but I, I don't. I don't think they're going to be coming out. Um, and then, of course, the day gecko. She is such a beauty. So I can get a good shot of her. She poops all over her glass. It's very frustrating. But that enclosure is still thriving and doing well. And here we've got the California king snake enclosure with some fruit fly cultures going. Uh, down here is the ball python bioactive enclosure. I should made a whole video on that as well. Uh, you can check out. Plants are all doing really well. Snakes doing well. It's nice because it, it gives enough humidity for the plants to live and the snake to shed well, but not so much that the you know the substrate's moist and it's getting scale rot or anything. And then this is. My eastern king snake, who's going in that that first big enclosure I saw, she is mold. She shed her skin, so she is more than ready to go. Uh, this enclosure is getting a little small for her, so that's why I wanted to get that big one. So I'll be moving her in sometime this week. And then over here, just like all of the lights and stands, and like you know, some books and camera equipment and tripods and and, and more camera equipment back here on this shelf. So this is. This is not exciting to look at. So one thing I wanted to show you is this uh, cool air humidifier that I have. It keeps everything here. Uh, it, well, it's, it says 45 right now, but it actually uh, is at 55. So it keeps everything nice and humid. So everybody has you know enough humidity for you know, what they need. And then over here, we've got this little space heater, little fireplace space heater. Uh, it keeps everything nice and warm. I keep that set at 68. So, uh, you know, it's kind of cool, but it's winter time. So it, it, it keeps everything optimal temperatures. All right, so there you have it. A quick and messy vlog, but now you're all caught up on what's happening here in the Tarantula Collective. I haven't added any new species since I've been gone, and maybe later on this year we'll add some, we'll do some unboxings, but it's not a priority. It's not something that I'm rushing towards. What I'm focusing on this year is making some more of the nature documentary videos, some care and husbandry videos, and covering some scientific topics and research and news that's coming out. And I also got rid of my old merch store. I switched companies, got a new company, and we're doing a merch drop today day so this will be the first day it's live and available for everyone to purchase if you want to check out the new merch store it's on my website the tarantula collective.com i'll link it down below in the video got some really cool styles that hopefully you guys will like and it's only available for a limited time so it'll just be like 60 days this stuff will be available and then the store will get shut down i'll redesign some new merch and launch that in the spring now as of recording this video we are very, very close to hitting 100,000 subscribers. I think we're like 99,660 some. So by the time you're watching this, if the trend of a couple hundred subscribers a day continues, then we'll have just crossed 100,000, which is very exciting. It's definitely a goal since I started the channel. So once it's official and I've got that silver play button in my hands, I'll make a video just to thank you all for you know helping me reach 100,000 subscribers. And we're gonna do a cool giveaway, give away some of this merch that uh, I'm gonna be dropping today. So keep an eye out for that video as well. As always, I appreciate you watching. Subscribe if you want to see more. Seriously, hit that subscribe button, especially if I'm not to 100k yet. And I will see you next Tuesday. <laughs>